Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are all having a blessed day. Hey, uh, I had something that I heard the other day, and uh, I heard it from uh, Dr. Michael Rogers. And uh, this is what he said. He said, get a piece of paper and write down lies of Satan that I believe. Lies of Satan that I believe. Just get a piece of paper and write it down. And he said, if you can't think of any, then ask God to reveal to you the lies that you believe. And that's what I want to challenge you guys to do. Write down lies that I believe. So listen. When you come up with a lie or two that you believe, any lie of Satan that you, you know, maybe it was instilled in your mind when you were a little kid, but yet you think it's true. Well, once you discover that lie that you believe, then what you do is, on that same piece of paper, you find a scripture that proves that that thing that you believe is an absolute lie. Because you look at the lie, and then you look at the scripture that proves it's a lie, and what makes that scripture true is your faith. You either have faith in the lie, or you have faith in God and in His Word. So there's a couple of lies that professing believers believe. And one of the biggest ones that Christians believe is that God loves everybody except me. God loves everybody except you. Now think about that. Think about that for just a minute. We all will readily admit, we will readily admit that God loves everybody. You know, we know that. The Bible says that God's not willing that any should perish. The Bible says that Jesus came down to die for everybody. We all believe that, that God loves everybody. But do we all believe that God loves me just as much as everybody else? Do you believe that God loves you just as much as the Apostle Paul? Just as much as the Apostle John? Do you believe that God loves you as much as He loves them? Because He does. You know, when I, when I, when I heard that, I was thinking, well, I definitely know that God loves me. Because people, listen, the fact that I'm alive right now, and the fact that God has blessed me my entire life in spite of me, that <laughs> proves to me that God loves me. So listen to this. Anything that you worry about, anything you worry about, do you worry about money? See, if you're worried about it, that's a lie that you believe. That's a lie that Satan told you that you believe. If you're worried about money, Satan said God is not going to take care of you. You're going to starve to death. You're going to be homeless in the streets. See? Anything at all that you worry about, that's a lie from Satan that you believe. So guys, listen. Anything that you're worried about, go to the Bible and you can find a scripture where God says He's going to take care of you. Jesus tells us, He says, look at, look at, the, look at the lilies of the field. They don't spin. But God clothes them. Will He not much more clothe you? God feeds the birds of the air. He's going to feed you. Lies that Satan has told you that you believe. Ephesians 3, 14 to 19, this is what it says. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family on heaven and earth is named that He would grant you according to the riches of His glory 
to be strengthened with might in the spirit of the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth, the length, the depth, and height, and to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. People, that scripture right there should assure you that God's going to take care of you from the cradle to the grave. God is right there. You have nothing to worry about because anything you're worried about is a lie that Satan told you that you believe. Here's another one that, that blew me away. Guys, listen. One in four professing Christians, one out of four believes there's no hell. One out of four Christians believe there's no hell. Well, I'll tell you what. If you believe there's no hell, there's no reason to witness to everybody. No reason to get your life all cleaned up. I mean, think about that. Well, when I heard that, I think, well, all they got to do is read about the rich man and Lazarus. That proves there's a hell. And here's probably the greatest lie of all. And this is the lie for our generation. Everyone's doing it. Everyone's doing it. It's culturally accepted. It's not a sin. They pass laws legalizing it. Therefore, it's no longer a sin. They legalized it. It's not a sin. Everyone's doing it. That is a lie right out of the pit of hell that a lot of Christians believe. Well, the scripture says that God does not change. The scripture said that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God doesn't change. Cultures change. People change. God does not change. If you look at it clear back in the Old Testament, and the Old Testament says, this is wrong. People, if it was wrong back then, it's still wrong today. Doesn't matter if it's legal, doesn't matter if it. So listen, get out that piece of paper. And if you can't think of a lie that you, a lie of Satan's that you believe, then every time you find yourself worried about something, write it down. If you find yourself worrying about something else, write it down. Because whatever you're worried about is a lie that Satan has led you to believe. And all you have to do is find a scripture that combats that lie, a scripture that proves it's a lie. So anyway, I just want to give you something to think about. Heaven or hell, you choose. Just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal.